So Prajita, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I, oh. Okay guys, I, I need like a minute. Can I please have some more? Well, I'm just kidding. This was me for you a couple of years back when I hadn't discovered who I am, what I am and what is it that I exactly aspire to do and want to be. I was uh, just probably like one of you guys still trying to figure out in life if what I'm doing at that point is right or wrong. So uh, I know you've uh, gone through a lot of speakers who've done some amazing work, who have some awesome companies and uh, who have been doing some significant amount of work for the better of the society like uh, Sir who came, uh, again sorry, Hardik who just came and went and uh, I work as an image enhancer. Now what I do for a living is I help people embark on the journey to enhancing their images and build a brand out of themselves. Oh. <clears throat> now what that in simple words means is I help you unveil your superpowers and discover your superpowers. So what are superpowers? Superman, Batman, Iron Man, etc, etc. Well, each one of you sitting here has a specific superpower. The problem is that none of us have discovered it yet. Now, when I discovered my superpowers, I realized that I was amazing at public speaking and hence today my talk is not scripted. I just came down and I got this slide made just so that my audience knows what is it that I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, my superpower is being spontaneous. Now, how do I be that spontaneous and still address a talk like TEDx? Because I'm confident. I know what my niche is. I present myself well. When each one of you is now going to, after this talk, going to hopefully start embarking on the journey to unveiling your superpowers, what I would love you to do is something really difficult I'm going to ask you guys to do. Number one, please go home, jot down the list of tags that you guys have been given since the time you were a baby. I'll tell you why I'm asking you to do this. It's a very, 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 very crucial exercise. Because what you are going to realize is that a lot of your life decisions have depended on a couple of these tags or maybe all of these tags. Chhoto kitna mota hai, kitna cute hai. Chhoto ne uske baad kabhi abne aapko padla samjha hai nahi. Abhi bhi aayne mein dekhta hai, to usko lagta hai mein mota hu. What is that? That is an impression. Uh, can you guys lower the light a little please? Just, yeah. Uh, abhi bhi abne aapko aayne mein dekhta hai, to he still has this feeling that oh my god, my flab, I cannot wear a tight t-shirt. Imagine Chhotu not wearing a tight t-shirt for the rest of his life. He doesn't even probably go to the gym because he is conscious of the fact that if I go treadmill, I will my flabs. Lutkenge. Just because of that one sly comment that a very cute auntie had made. And unko to wo comment was very cute at that point. Pe, chhotu ne dil pe le liya. So I am sure a lot of us have these kind of tags tags along with us that we need to get out of. One very, very, very important line that helped me change my life is remember one thing, tell yourself this every day. Each one of you is awesome. You need to look at yourself 10 times in the mirror and tell yourself that dude, I'm amazing. I love myself. And believe in it. Not just say it for the sake of it, but really believe in it. Let's give it a shot once. Everybody here in this room right now, I want you to say these three words with me right now. I love me. And please, with conviction. Okay, at the count of three. One, two, three. I love me. Again, once more, please. I love me. How many of you actually said it with conviction? How many of you felt a little weird? What is this like? What is happening with us? <laughs> so, let me uh, also get you to this conclusion. 
sorry not conclusion let's go only for a for a conclusion i can go and talk about this topic for the rest of my life but let me get to this point where a lot of us must have felt that i love me are i love you to bajwa ye ladki ko bola tha i love you hum koi kisi actor ko pasand karte to bolte hai ya mummy papa ko bolte hai ya kisi aise insaan ko bolte hai jisse hum pyar karte hai but the most important person in your life that is you you forget to remind yourself now reminding <coughs> yourself that you love yourself is the first super power that you are going to discover starting today like i did a couple of years back and that is why i'm here being a college dropout standing in an engineering college nit what a cool bro my parents are super proud of me uh, initially bahut baatein hui thi lekin because they did not pull me down ever thankfully i had very supportive parents at a point they were also very disheartened ki pata nahi bachchi kya hi karegi what is she going to do with her life i was a bmf student uh, back in 2008 and in my second year i lost interest for a specific reason that the reason i had picked to do something like a bachelor's in mass media was my sister who i idealized since i was a baby and she lived in lagos so whenever she came down her style her personality everything i wanted to mimic and imitate what i forgot is that she is she and i am me to uske chakkar mein maine bmf join to kar liya when i entered the course i got to know there are 36 subjects to study in 3 years when i was only interested in advertising and that was because advertising was something that seemed really cool like people go to office in shorts and t-shirts wow life set when i realized that i don't want to do this i couldn't push myself to give exams and i obviously got a drop with that when i got this drop i was shattered two weeks ghar pe nahi pata result i did not tell anybody what my results were i was just shut in a room crying over it the thing i dreaded the most was i never wanted to sit in a class full of juniors in my college that was my personal fear maybe a lot of you might be very courageous to do it but that was my personal fear and i had this rep to protect in college i was always a very cool kid in college then i spoke to a friend who said why don't you give uh, prime focus a shot they are looking for someone who is passionate about vfx is not an artist cannot do vfx so uh, a lot of people ask me this question when i uh, came here yesterday today both the day that how did you work on like such films and i kept telling them constantly that i did not work as an artist i was not the creator i just facilitated the delivery of these films which means managing the group of artists who actually deliver these beautiful shots that you see on screen be it vfx be it stereo conversion be it whatever okay so that's my connection to vfx when i started working with prime focus my first day i landed there and uh, sorry guys my shoes ha huh. so the first day i landed there i had red streaks of hair like i have right now <laughs> it was even worse back then and i was put into the team filled with la and london people and all the rounds i was super elated i was like ye to bada bada kya kaam lag raha hai ye to karna hi hai i got myself so busy in the drive that i did not realize the drawback of my failure because every day was a new experience and it took me closer to where i saw myself as that is when i unveiled my second superpower take failure as an intervention do not let it be permanent stains on your life while this happened people took me a little less seriously obviously number 1 college dropout number 2 i always came across like that because i saw always dress up in shorts baggy t-shirts like most of you engineers go to class and say ki mai to soya nahi ho raha hu uh so i used to usually dress up like that when i went for my next job as a creative on television there was i was extremely hard working extremely like i used to day in day out and shoots are crazy so when i went there one day my boss came and he said i think people are not taking you seriously and as a creative on television shows trust me you need to run the show 
which means even the director and the actors need to listen to you. Now, if I have to make an actor listen to me, and I appear like that, how do you think is he going to listen to me? My boss came to me and told me that Priyoshi, I think uh, we need to appoint somebody over you because uh, people are not, you know, able to uh, maybe because you're young or whatever. But I truly always believe that age was just a number. It was not about my age. It was the kind of image that I was projecting. If I came here in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt giving you a lecture on a witch, would you take me seriously? Would you guys take me seriously? Or would you think I'm just, you know, bowl rie? Sir, bowl rie. Okay, so then I realized that if I want to be at a senior position where people start, should start listening to me, I need to look the part that I play. And that is when I unveil my third superpower that is dressing right. Most of you might not understand the importance of it. Every color, every fabric, every attire that you wear, Please make an effort to wear it consciously. Because consciously or unconsciously, you are projecting cues. Now what is projecting cues? That is again a superpower. You projecting cues is your superpower. Today if I go for a wedding, can I go like this? In the day, in a proper Indian wedding, people will think it's very modern, I don't know what to do. Correct? What will I wear? I'll wear a sari or I'll wear something that's more religiously right or maybe something that's a little traditionally inclined, right? Because I want to project those kind of messages with what I'm wearing. Knowingly, unknowingly, casually, not casually, seriously, not seriously. It is very important. Now today, a lot of you, how many of you in the morning woke up thinking that we are going for a TEDx talk? And we will make an effort to look good. How many of you did that honestly? How many of you keep your clothes pre-ironed or just wear crushed shirts and come in? How many of you just wear crushed shirts, crushed clothes, think that it doesn't matter? My friend, you need to change your point of view because in the real world, trust you me, when you get out of college or maybe if you're already working, it does. It helps you create a very, very, very different image because if today, had I come here in my pajamas and not taken an effort to dress up crisply, nobody would be listening to me. Or at least they would think that she's not serious about what she's doing, she's not passionate enough. When you have that power to decide for yourselves, what you want the other person to think of you as, why not use it? Use it as a superpower. Think about where you're going, think about what you're going to do, make a conscious effort. It's not difficult. I have undergone, uh, undergone the most major change when it comes to, you know, being conscious of what I'm wearing and what I'm trying to project. So I assure you it's not difficult. The next superpower is most of us, like I said, untagging in the uh, start of it, most of us have a sense of our body image in a very negative way. Hum, we probably, there are times when we look into the mirror and think, oh my god, my nose is crooked. Your nose is helping you breathe. It's a unique nose. Be thankful you have it. Next superpower is being thankful to yourself, each and every part of your body and helping it help you grow better. Your body image, which most of us don't realize, leads to your self-esteem. What is your self-esteem? Your self-esteem is your evaluation of yourself with the way people are looking at you. Now this self-esteem Influences a lot, 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 lot of decisions in your life. So to create a good, powerful image, these are the basics 
till you do not uh, till you do not embrace yourself the world will not endorse you the day you embrace yourself is the day the world will automatically start embracing you you will be more confident i have this major issue uh, my legs are full of stretch marks it's hereditary or i don't know what it is it's some medical thing so uh, there was this time once back in my 5th uh, or 6th standard where i was wearing a school tunic and this guy made a very sly comment saying are dekh iske to stretch marks hai trust you me except for my school tunic till this year i couldn't gather the courage to wear a one piece dress a lot of us have issues like that that we do not confront ourselves with the first thing we need to do is confront ourselves with what we are feeling don't be harsh on yourself i was extremely harsh on myself till a point but you guys because i'm here to tell you and if somebody had told me back when i was a kid that you don't need to take all of this seriously and actually confronted me with this things would have been way different but since today we are having this session and i would like you guys to take a little bit of inspiration if not all the inspiration you guys need to confront yourselves with things that you're feeling about yourselves you need to figure out if your if your image of yourself is positive or negative whether it's working for you in the right way whether it's not working for you if it is not working for you then there is a problem you need to figure out how to fix the problem nobody no consultant no doctor nobody on this planet knows yourself better than you do stand in front of the mirror and ask yourself what do you think is the problem how many of you ask yourselves uh, at frequent times how you are feeling today you ask yourself awesome way go na mai none of you else कॉल करके अपने फ्रेंड्स को जरूर पूछते हैं हम कैसा है व्हाट्सअप हाउ यू देन व्हाई नॉट आस्क योर सेल्फ दिस दिस क्वेश्चन आर एंड यू इंपॉर्टेंट आर एंड यू इंपॉर्टेंट योर सेल्फ यू गाइज आर राइट ओके आई वांट टू नो यू गाइज बिकॉज दिस इज गेटिंग अ लिटिल ड्रैगी अदरवाइज सो इफ यू गाइज आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू योर सेल्फ यू नीड टू कीप आस्किंग योर सेल्फ कि मुझे आज कैसा लग रहा है ताकि तुम्हें पता चले यू गेट टू नो व्हाट इज इट एग्जैक्टली दैट यू आर फीलिंग and you can deal with it instantly because till you don't know the problem where is the solution going to come from am i right so this is another super power we have that is confronting ourselves and finding figuring out our own solution be it your self image be it your body image be it communications now the biggest boon that we humans mango people humans whatever you might call it have is communication that monkeys donkeys etc etc don't have verbally they have a certain pattern set kiki gugu kaka etc etc i don't know monkey language so we have this bone wherein we can verbally communicate what we want now do we use this communication medium right enough to work in our favor no we don't are we conscious of how we are walking talking reciprocating to each other are we conscious no most of us are not some of us are like when i uh, before i became an image enhancer i was not conscious now i practically make an effort to be conscious of my body language and it helps it really does being conscious of your body language number 1 you need to start being confident now how do you be confident i was uh, here yesterday at the theater fest what i realized is that a lot of people aspire to be actors dramatists uh make films what they don't realize is the most important part okay if you want to be an engineer your engineering degree is a must right you can't just go and build a bridge can you no right similarly if you aspire to do something different you need to develop the skill for it having the talent and only the passion is not enough or just having passion and not being aware of what is it that you want is also not enough 
So I would request you guys because tomorrow you guys are going to be going out and stepping into the working world or maybe even in college, it's always better that I would request you guys to work on your communication skills strongly. By communications, I do not again mean English. Ab jo bhi bol rahe hai, bhale wo English mein bol rahe hai, Hindi mein bol rahe hai, whatever you are saying, make a conscious effort to communicate it clearly and well with your body language and the words you speak. Abhi abhi mein aapse aise bolu ki ab aisa hai ki I am talking about image and I think that you know most of you in this room don't have a powerful body image and how does it look? Versus when I'm talking to you like this, the first one is impressive or the second one? Would you take the second one more seriously and fun or the first one? So there you go, you've realized it already, right? And most of you are projecting these cues without even knowing. Communication is your biggest superpower. So we've covered pretty much all the three superpowers. Now I'm going to tell you in short what it is. It's your appearance, your body language, and your communication skills and the determination to accept failure as an intervention. Failure is merely an intervention. Don't do things thinking of what will happen. People will have 10,000 different opinions. But do not let them overtake your identity. Because like I said, you are only you. And there was no one like you in the past. There can be no one like you in the present. And there will be no one like you in the future. You are unique. You are awesome. Be authentic. Unveil your superpowers.